All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the largest motion graphics pack for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I've been wanting to do this review video for a while now because this is one of the largest motion graphics packs of all time. And it's an extension for After Effects, which means you can easily preview these elements before you import them in any type of uh, After Effects project. And this pack is called Create Pack from Aloha Effects, which he's done an amazing job uh, putting this together. And so anytime during this video, you want to check out the Create Pack, uh, I will drop the link below. It'll take you over to the video hive where you can check out uh, all these elements in this pack. And you can also download uh, a free trial, which will give you a handful of awesome elements so you can take a look at the pack before you get the full pack. So let's go ahead and jump into our review and let's get started. All right, so here is Create Pack underneath the Free Motion Bro extension. And what's great about this extension is that you get to preview all animations before you apply them so you can find the right animation without doing any work. So, you know, for example, there's a handful of categories in here. So if we're looking for like the perfect title, we can preview the title animation, see if it works for us and, you know, choose what works. So let's say that I like this title animation and I want to apply this to our project. Well, all I have to do is click on apply and it automatically applies this title animation to my timeline and it's really easy to update this and pretty much every element in this pack is very easy to update that's why it's a basically an all-in-one motion graphics template because it's easy to work with so one thing we can take a look at here is the in and out animations if you want to speed up the in animations there's just markers here you can drag it in and now our in animation is one second long um you also have the out animation so you can make that however long you need that to be and if you want to make any changes we just double click on the composition there's always a control layer Go to effects controls here and we can see that we can update this no problem so we want to change the color no worries we can change that click ok uh, we grab our textile tool and what's really cool about these type of titles is that they're responsive like the word responsive here so boom you see the entire design is updated as I type out my new title and that's awesome and we can scale this down if you want increase the tracking if you want to skew this no problem I mean there's just a lot of options here for us to you know make this our own work and be able to accomplish what we're looking to accomplish so once we have a title in here perhaps we need a background so i'll come here to the background category and we can take a look at the amazing backgrounds that are here so we have some nice you know, basic shape uh backgrounds uh one thing that i really like are these uh marble backgrounds these are really cool and unique uh very excited to use these as i use this pack and um we can come here and click on apply once we have a background that we like and one thing I'll do is hit T on my keyboard to lower the opacity of this so it blends a little bit uh, better together and nice so one thing we take a look at is transitions one thing that's essential in every pack is to have like a your know, nice transit shape transitions packs maybe I'll do something kind of clean here and we'll click on apply so coming over here move this over in time boom we have nothing and then it reveals over to our scene and that's really cool and there's a handful of transitions in this pack that you can use in a wide variety of different ways and one thing i really like about this is the burst capabilities there are a ton of you know shape motion graphics in here in the form of burst which allows us to just add more detail to our project within just a matter of like a minute so you know we can take a look at all these basic shape elements here a lot of it's not, not even basic i'll say these are really detailed uh shape animations so when we find something we like we can click on apply uh we can change colors as we see fit we can change colors as we see fit here. We can scale this down. And we can move this around our composition. And really easily we can duplicate this. Move it around to another portion, duplicate it, move it around. And when I've got a handful of copies in here, I'm gonna just offset these in time within my timeline. And with our half quality RAM preview here, we've added several new elements and boom, we just added like a lot more detail to this. Uh, so our accent motion graphics are pretty much, you know, good to go. There's a lot of different variations. You can easily duplicate them and add more detail. There's even the line category here that we added one line right here. Um, and there's a handful of line animations that just help bring more detail. There's also props. So like if you're working with video and you want to be able to put like a prop sunglass or uh, any other type of element, there's a handful of those in here. Um, and there's also shape elements. You can see down here I added a shape element. Uh, which just adds like a nice level of animation to like the side or the bottom 
of your compositions that has more detail to your overall comp. So there's just a handful of cool elements in this pack and several of them that we didn't take a look at are lower thirds and I really uh, dig the lower thirds in this pack because there's three different categories. You have the sans serif which is going to be more like modern type lower thirds. Uh, clean, you know, for pretty much a lot of the work that you're going to do. There's creative lower thirds so if you want something that's more out of the box you have those and then you have sans serif, you know, styled lower thirds so if you're doing something that has a little bit more of a, a tone to it uh, you're going to have that style as well. Uh, you have call out titles that we didn't take a look at but if you're working video you want to call out something specific that you're talking about in the video you'll have that with tons of different choices to choose from and lastly the, perhaps my favorite thing I want to take a look at in this video is the devices category and you know with the devices there's a handful of pre-made scenes that you can easily change out and you know promote your app or um, you know show a computer animation no worries that's easy to do but at the bottom of this devices category there is a um, break models and this is basically if you want to start from scratch and you want to create a scene from nothing I really love these so I added this blank tablet here and what's cool about this is we can easily change out the screen and logo but this is a real 3d object inside of after effects without any plugin so I can turn this around and boom there's the back I can flip it around and it's just an object in 3D space that we can easily, you know, swap the screen out, change out the logo. We have a phone, we even have keyboards, a computer, uh, and a laptop. And it's all said and done, this is pretty much the ultimate motion graphics, you know, pack for your project, whether you are a dedicated motion graphics artist or a video editor. Um, you're going to have pretty much everything you need to get the base of most of your work done within this pack, which will help you save a tremendous amount of time while getting work done efficiently while helping you produce high quality work for your clients or for your own business and personal projects. So there's our review on Create Pack. Unfortunately, we can't go through every single element because there's just so many of them. So if you want to check out Create Pack and take a look at all the other elements in this pack, uh, you can check out links below. It'll take you right over to the full pack and you can also download uh, that free trial like we talked about. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it insightful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.